Hello and welcome to Maths with Jacob. This lesson will focus on index notation. In mathematics, we are sometimes asked to multiply a number by itself several times. For example, if we multiply 3 by itself 6 times, we have this string of numbers here. So the 3 is multiplied by itself 6 times. We can represent the above multiplication by using a much shorter method called index notation or exponential notation. So you can use either of those descriptions. So the string of numbers here will be 3 to the power of 6. That's how we say it, 3 to the power of 6. The 3 is called the base. So to describe that 3, we use the word base. The 6, which is up here, is called the index, or power, or exponent. So you can use any of those terms to describe the 6. Let's have a look at some examples. Write the following using index notation. So for number 1, we multiplied the number 5 by itself 7 times. So that's 5 to the power of 7. We've multiplied 9 by itself 4 times. That's 9 to the power of 4. This is a little bit interesting. We've multiplied 4 by itself 3 times and 2 by itself 5 times. So it's 4 cubed by 2 to the power of 5. This is a special way of saying that. We can say 4 cubed or 4 to the power of 3 multiplied by 2 to the power of 5. And here's another one. There are two twos. Now the number of threes we have are 4 and the number of fours we have are 5. So it's 2 squared by 3 to the power of 4 by 4 to the power of 5. That's the short way. You can see it's a lot shorter than this way and that's your index notation. Very large numbers. Sometimes very large numbers can be easily written down using index notation. Let's look at some examples. If two planets are one million kilometers apart, we can write this number as, now we know we can write a million as 10 multiplied by itself six times. So it's 10 to the power of six. If two objects are 3 billion kilometers apart, we can write this number as 3 times 1 billion, which is 3 times 10 to the 9th. And we write this number here using index notation. The answer is 10 to the power of 12. Now, we have to have a little note here just to show you how we arrived at these, this answer very quickly. A hundred is ten times ten. So because you've got two zeros, it's ten times ten, that's ten to the power of two. One thousand is ten by ten by ten, because you have three zeros, that's ten to the power of three. Ten thousand is ten by ten by ten by ten, because you have four zeros, and that's ten to the power of four. So very quickly, the million, which is six zeros, is ten to the sixth. The 3 billion, which is 3 times 1 billion, here you have, see here you have 9 zeros, that's why it's 10 to the power of 9. Here you have 12 zeros, that's why it's 10 to the power of 12. So that's just to show you how we can write the answer very quickly, just by looking at the number of zeros. So this video has introduced us to the idea of index notation, and that's a method of writing numbers in a very, very convenient way using the base and the power or the index or the exponent.